Hey everybody, uh, today I'm assembling some circuit board cigar pens and circuit boards can be a little tricky and quite finicky so I wanted to share a couple of things I do uh, to make these and this has drastically improved my success rate with these. A lot of people crack circuit board pen blanks and it's not necessarily their fault but there's some things you can do to help minimize that. I think that most companies that make the circuit board pen blanks um, mix them a little hot. They're a little brittle, they're a little temperamental as far as turning and pressing. So you can do these few things to, to help that. The first thing I do is these blanks come square typically and I will take them to the sander and I'll knock off all the corners on the sander before they ever touch the lathe. And I think that really helps as far as the chip out because when you have square corners and you start turning, you're, you're likely to get chip out, especially on a brittle blank. Uh, once I've turned it, there's a couple of things I do in assembly, and I'm gonna show you that right here. So the first thing I do is I take my Dremel with a carbide burr, and I quickly, there's no debris, there's no burrs, there's no glue, and you might take a little bit of the tube off, that's fine, but that's not the goal. It's just to make sure it's totally clear inside. Then what I'll do is I'll take the part, and if you see here, this thing does not fit at all, which normally is okay because you're pressing it in. But with these blanks, if you press it in and it's a slight bit too big, it'll crack this clear coat. So that's what we're going to avoid here. And how I do that is I take my carbide burr, and I, I kind of have a method where I hold it against my body for stability, and I'm just taking off the plating off the inside of the part. So I want to get as close to the part here as I can without risking damaging it so I stay back a little ways. And you can see I'm just kind of grinding away that plating. And I want this to fit in here about halfway when I press it in and that's perfect right there. So then I've got a little bit of press room, but I've taken away the bulk that would explode out the blank. It would push out too much and that's how we get the cracks. So I'll do that on both sides. Now one other thing is if you don't have a, a Dremel and a carbide tool, you can certainly use a uh, piece of sandpaper. It'll take a little longer, but that's okay. And you just want to, like I said, take off the plating. So I'm not going real deep, I'm just going around the whole part. Now I would normally blow all these parts out with my compressor, but we're in the new shop and I haven't brought the compressor over yet, so the old fashioned compressor here. And there again, you can see it presses about halfway in and then stops, and that's just perfect. Make sure you got the right end on the right end because there are size differences. I'm gonna put this in the press. Now, ideally you'd wanna use a pen press. I don't have one here, so I'm using this clamp. Make sure it's perfectly straight, otherwise that's another crack, prone to cracking. Press it in. And then I, of course, inspect the edges, make sure there's no cracks or burrs, and that looks just about perfect. Now I can finish assembling. I screw on the transmission, give it a good snug, insert the refill, put on the tip, and I like to give that a good snug. Check it to make sure it functions properly. You can put the top on, and you've got a beautiful cigar pen.